So I might be a little late to this party, but uh, yeah, I was in the Halo Reach Insider program uh, just this early October, and I got to play it on Xbox One, and I gotta say, first impressions, the game is fantastic. It's been wonderfully ported over. I didn't really expect actually that clean of a port this fast. I don't know how long they've been working on this, but however much amount of time they've been putting on this, it's just crazy. So. Normally with these kind of videos, I have it scripted or I have something written out or outlined, but in this case, no. I'm going to be going off of everything that I can remember, everything that I've that I experienced in the program, just so then, you know, there's a clean, natural reaction. So, uh, first of all, I only got one solid, like, maybe an hour or two of footage on this, simply because setting up recording hardware and software it took a lot of time and I just wanted to play Reach. So uh, after this first one, I dismantled all my equipment and I never wanted to put it back together just because I wanted to play Reach that much. So uh, first of all, whenever I got to first play it, uh, this was during the uh, this footage here. This was during the uh, Team Hardcore where no, no reticle bloom, uh, bleed through was enabled. And I gotta say, uh, if I don't remember bleed through being a thing. Like, I played a lot of Halo Reach uh, after especially the title update in like 2011 or something, but the thing it, that I don't remember is bleed through. Now, I don't mind bleed through. Bleed through is pretty cool. Like, it's a, it's a fancy way of handling shields, but, uh, you know, I, I just didn't really remember it being a thing. It, it wasn't that big of a deal. I'm not really upset about it at all. But it, it's a unique thing that I haven't experienced before. So, um, in this whole, like, during my time, I spent a lot of time mostly exploring the game itself. Like, I enjoyed playing it, but there was something about exploring this game that I haven't touched in, like, I don't know, in, in, its, in its purest form, I haven't touched it in, like, five years. I've gone back and played a couple games here and there on the Xbox 360 or played it on the backwards compatible thing. But I, I never really did anything outside of that. I, I never went back and played the campaigns and never did anything like that. So going to explore Halo Reach again was honestly a really entertaining thing to do. Um, one thing that I remember very well were there were a couple bugs. And this is to be expected. I mean, it's, it's, it's early. It's still not released. And that's for a reason. Uh, there were a couple of glitches here and there. Nothing really crazy. Uh, usually things relating to hit registration or melee registration, that sort of thing. Nothing really insane, other than the sound glitches that they're already aware of. Like, that was just entertaining. Um, here, you can actually see me going through the forge. Now, I know I saw the forge and I immediately knew that I had to spawn all the weapons in the map. So, I, I found the map that worked the best by watching a general heed video. And I just spawned every weapon and started shooting everything I could find. And upon realizing this, I started going from map to map. I tried to find all the maps that worked, because this was early on, I didn't know what maps would be available, because I didn't look at the forums. So, I was just going from map to map, testing them all. So I go on to Countdown, because I knew that that was the other one that worked. And I, I did what any normal human being would do. I, I spawned all the weapons in the game, and I made a gun sink out of them. Because that's just what you do. And then I went and tested on a glitch that I had uh, I found before, which was basically, I'm gonna speed this up, Basically, <laughs> if you shoot the plasma repeater long enough with bottomless clip, the reticle will slowly go all the way out of the screen, then repeat, then all the way out of the screen, and repeat, all the way out, and just, it'll rinse and repeat until finally it just gets locked in place, and then it'll just all go right back to normal. So, for the rest of the time, I was mostly just playing on breakpoint, uh, spawning all the vehicles, and essentially blowing them up. But this gives me enough time to put in some final comments and thoughts, uh, especially if someone from 343 or at least of subsidiary decide to watch this. I don't expect it. This is mostly just for my own reflection and for anyone else who decides to see what my perspective was of the Halo Reach uh, Insider thing. So, right off the bat, the game is wonderfully crafted. It's so it's almost perfect in the way that it's presented. It's like the tiny glitches I don't mind at all. Like the bugs, I couldn't care less just because the game itself is just so well crafted and so well put together that I can't think of it as any other way than just wow, there was a lot of time and effort put into this and making it so good. And I and I don't really know like how they put it all together. Is the is the most interesting thing because I'm trying to think about this like porting a game from the 360 is difficult enough. And so you're porting this, and it's, 
especially without like it's easier when you have a pc port like combat evolved anniversary and halo 2 those both had a pc port that they could use and work off of but reach was just a whole new giant like you're trying to transfer a game this big onto a onto xbox one which was just wonderful and they did it perfectly so it's it, once once one thing that's really weird though is that there's new content like you guys have probably seen the videos before but you could put teleporters down now and set them so that they teleport actual like rounds and rockets like you can teleport projectiles which is interesting because that wasn't in the original game so that makes me question what else could be presented what else could be thrown in just for fun because Reach has a lot of potential, there's no doubt about it. Reach is a huge deal. I mean, it's one of the main influences for Infinite, as far as I'm aware, because of the customization and the employees that we got to talk to at Outpost. But, it's like, what else could be could be added? What else is Reach influencing that makes this such a big deal? Like, is the fact that the Master Chief Collection got Reach is a little bit strange to me. Because Reach is great, Reach is a fantastic game, but... It's like it could have just gotten an anniversary or it could have just gotten a remaster on Xbox One. It didn't need to be part of the Master Chief Collection. So the reason why I'm questioning this, it's not because I'm not I'm upset that it's on the Master Chief Collection. It's wonderful. It's adding in a new XP system. The customization is going to be great. It's just, why is it there? Because it's not about Master Chief. It has maybe that one Easter egg. That's pretty much it. That's all the, the reference that Master Chief gets as the reference to his story. But... I mean, maybe it's just because at the end it basically ties right into Combat Evolved, but I don't know. I might be just reading it too much into this. Essentially, this Insider, what I got to play, felt so complete and so perfect and so wonderfully put together that I can't help but put my hands together and give a round of applause to whoever put this whole thing and started this whole journey because, holy crap, these guys did a lot of work. And they have shown it. <laughs> so... Whenever this comes out, whenever it decides to just show its its mug all over Master Chief Collection, oh man, I'm all, I'm honestly expecting that there's gonna be like a, there's gonna be a custom background. There's gonna be all sorts of crazy stuff going on because man, I will be playing this every single day once it comes out, and <laughs> that's that's insane for me to say for a game that came out I don't even know how many years ago now, like maybe like nine or almost ten. Man, we're all getting old. <laughs> yeah.